सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर इन द मिडस्ट ऑफ यू एच वी थ्री एंड वी आर ऑन लेक्चर सेवनटीन वेर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड हाउ इट एक्सप्रेस इट सेल्फ इन नेचर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वॉट वी हैव क्लासिफाइड एज द फोर ऑर्डर्स सो वी सेंड दैट एग्जिस्टेंस is in the form of coexistence and this is expressing itself in everything that you see around in existence so we said and this chart depicts the whole the entire existence we said that this coexistence is in the form of units that are submerged in space and we said that these are two distinct types of realities the units and the space units are limited in size they are you know what we classify as nature all these types of orders that we have classified as and then there is space while the units are limited space is unlimited it is all pervading units are active but space is no activity that is another very big difference between these two which is important to keep in view in the case of units they are not only active they are energized they seem to have energy for the activity and they are self organized and they recognize their relationship with every other unit and fulfill that relationship these are the characteristics of the units in the case of space we said that there is no activity it is unlimited in size it is all pervading and it is um there is a availability you can say of self organization energy is available to the units being in space and this space is transparent so being transparent every unit is being reflected onto every other unit the entire coexistence is being reflected and that is how we all can see that we have the natural acceptance which is the same in all of us it is similar we all have a natural acceptance for relationship for harmony for coexistence because that is how it is in the existence and that is reflecting in us within the unit now if you look at the units themselves they are of two distinct types there are the material units and then there are the consciousness units in the material units you find the material units are temporary body is one good example that we keep taking but you can see that in all the material units the physical order in the case of the consciousness units they are continuous continuous meaning continuous in time they are not time bound so they are they were there they are there and they will be there not so for the 
material units which form the form so like the body takes birth grows eventually decomposes then if you look at the material units they come together you know they recognize the relationship fulfill the relationship with the other orders so they come together and they form more and more complex structures so if you start with in the physical order the atom atoms come together from molecules molecular structures lumps fluid whatever then with that is the formation of the bio order where you have formation of cells starting from a single cell all the way to more and more and more complex cells so you have cells then you have plants you have you know bigger plants trees all that even the animal body and the human body are classified in the bio order because as we said earlier they have the same kind of innateness they exist and they grow they have respiration this is not so in the physical order if you look at the consciousness units in the consciousness units we call consciousness or the self here the recognizing and fulfilling is dependent on the assumption so the role of assumption comes in in the self the self can assume something and based on that is the recognition and fulfillment so in the animal the animal totally identifies itself as the body the self of the animal totally identifies itself as the body so it assumes itself to be body so all its recognition fulfillment is in line with that and because it so completely identifies and so completely is assuming itself to be the body this recognition and fulfillment is very definite so there is no problem but as the self evolves it now takes it associates with a human body which is more complex and has more possibilities and now not only does it have the selecting tasting activity in the p2 block it is also active or awakened to the activities of thought analyzing comparing desire imaging feeling and with this there is also the potential to know now the self has become more important and so on the one hand the human being is still with that assumption that i am the body but on the other hand that is not sufficient because it now also has a will to live with continuous happiness in the animal it just has will to live and so being with that assumption that i am body it works but now as a human being it is not enough just living is not enough the human being wants to live with continuous happiness so this to be able to see that the self needs to have this happiness from within for that slowly we need to awaken to the higher activities till we are active at the level of the activity of realization that means we have awakened to realization then it would be called activity completeness till then we have to keep going working towards it once we have completion of the activity of realization then with that as guide we can guide our lower activities to come in line with this highest activity of realization from where we can see directly the coexistence and all its expression in the form of this participation the relationship you know, the self organization all of that and then that becomes the guide for us to mirror our lower activities in line with that and the outcome of that is that we have it reflects in our behavior and that would be called conduct completeness because there you can see definiteness in the human conduct till we get to that point we may keep having indefinite human conduct sometimes we are in line with understanding with the pattern in existence sometimes we are not so ultimately we have to get there and this is possible through human education and sanskar
so while the um the physical order the bio order here you can see things are cyclic formation happens deformation happens and this goes on in a cyclic manner in the case of this development in the cell once you cross this p2 meaning you awaken to the higher activities now this development is linear now it is not cyclic so we can keep moving in that direction until we get to the completeness of the activity so all this we said we will ponder on and we were to take reflections today and i think latha ji had a question which we could not come to um some other question also was there which i think may not have been clear fully so you can put forward your questions now good morning uh, good morning namaste didi am i audible didi yes you are audible yeah namaste sabhi ko didi actually i had a doubt regarding this energy in equilibrium that's mm -hmm. why i raised my hand at that point only okay. can you please explain this this energy in equilibrium i yeah. do not get it yeah so energy you say that you know when we have energy we have activity or activity is possible because of the presence of energy we say like that no yes so in yeah, the units yes. this is there yes now if this energy is in a very stable form so energy is available but it is not causing i mean it's not leading to activity there itself you can think of it like this as energy in equilibrium equilibrium just means there is a how shall we say so the net energy is zero can we say like this i won't say that i would say it's in a very stable form where it doesn't have to be um changed into something okay maybe i am confused because i am seeing energy sometimes as kinetic energy potential energy yeah so when we use like potential energy is there then we use it and we say kinetic energy yes, and all so i'm maybe i'm thinking it like that because uh, when we think it like that then it changes into another form that's what and so there so is a change the, of form in the space it is available for the units to have but it is itself in a very stable unchanging form you can say something like that okay yeah i will explore something more about it didi namaste didi namaste namaste to all uh, didi my question is uh, to open up to higher activities uh, we need to have uh, such a such a samskars but uh, what i found what i observed the samskars are uh, not uh, formed uh, these are very deep rooted it may be so many baths on what's the samskars are developed i think mm -hmm. uh, so i feel uh, some of the sometimes it is very uh, difficult to uh, change our samskars or develop some samskars which leads to open up higher activities so mm -hmm. what is the method or approach uh, to uh, change or develop new samskars or change our deep rooted old unnecessary uh, yeah. habits or samskars yes so if you look at the old samskars also they haven't developed overnight yeah yeah that's right we go through some experience perhaps we hear something and we go through it again and again and again it becomes very repetitive and so that becomes almost it seems spontaneous for us yes that's the problem with the sanskar yeah. in those also you will find some sanskars are very superficial they are not so deep rooted yes they are easy to change yeah those you may have success in very quickly yeah 
which is good because you see some motivation that okay something is happening <laughs> yes sir but, but uh, then, deep rooted uh, difficult ah, to change us yeah. from that those are also there the deep rooted ones and when they surface so you may have been working on yourself for 2 3 years and still sometimes you find that the deep rooted sanskars they surface and yeah. you are disturbed and you feel what's the use i've been working for so long nothing is happening yeah. it's not that nothing is happening it is just that it takes time because they are so deep rooted first they will have to weaken yeah they will have to weaken then they will finally drop off so how to weaken the uh, you know the process is the same we keep referring yeah. to a natural acceptance first of all we have to become aware of the imagination what was going on inside now at least we become aware of what is going on in our imagination what is the feeling we try to see if it is in line with natural acceptance or not so you will find that you have many sanskars that are also good means they are in line with understanding yes And that is good so that is okay that we can keep but it's just that we have to um sort of pay attention to them and find out what is in in the right direction in line with understanding and what is not yeah. and then slowly get rid of them but definitely it will take time but most important to see is we tend to get disheartened are again the same problem happened i am trying from so long but look at how much you have achieved yeah. you know if you go back and see from where you started you will find that you have come a long way and yeah. it seems very difficult because the sanskar is taking over and leading to your feeling right away but even if the feeling is not in line with understanding say you have feeling of opposition and you get disturbed and yes. maybe even shout or get angry even then after that you are reflecting on it yes earlier you may not have been doing that yes. but even later if you are reflecting on it at that moment see what would have been the right way see what feeling would have been naturally acceptable and how with that natural feeling you could have behaved now when you visualize this next time around when something like this happens you may be able to catch it sooner and sooner and sooner and then eventually at some point that sanskar will become so weak that it will drop off see you are creating a new sanskar so yes. the old one will drop off so for creating a new sanskar also it needs yeah, the time again, of it. And again and again na yes yes but it thing. takes a prolonged and life life period yes of it course takes, uh, uh, what is the uh, use uh, we will get uh, by uh, what i mean to say is time for the required for change the sanskars need to be less and less then only is uh, very much ben- benefited uh, uh, yeah so, so there also you will feel you will see like i said you know one is the weak sanskars versus the deep rooted ones yeah, so yeah. the time taken will be different the yes. other thing is you find some people are very focused they pay a lot of attention inside lot of yes. attention to detail those yeah. you know when the exploration is continuously going on yeah. the sanskars will change more rapidly oh. for those who are um, not paying that much attention inside or are again being driven outside for them it may take little longer so for every individual it will be different yeah, yeah. how much time it takes Yes, yes also where we stand no from before yeah. what kind of sanskars if we have majority good sanskars yeah few ones that are not in line it will be simpler easier but if we yeah. have many many sanskars which are not in line it will take longer obviously yeah. Yeah. 
नमस्कार मैडम नमस्कार टू आल मैडम एस्टर्डे यू गिव असाइनमेंट रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन दी फोर ऑर्डर्स इन नेचर एंड हाउ दी को एग्जिस्टिंग सीज़ एवर एक्सप्रेसिव इन नेचर एस्टर्डे आई शेड इन कंटिन्यूशन टू दैट कैन यू सी द रोल ऑफ एजम्पशन इन एनिमल एंड ह्यूमन ऑर्डर यस मैडम आई हैव बीन ऑब्जर्विंग सपोज इफ आई ऑब्जर्व एनिमल्स एज दे कंप्लीटली दे आर बॉडी आइडेंटिफाइड what i observed they don't have cloths also and they don't want to and uh, the shelter also nature is their shelter and food also for the time being they take once it is filled they are happy but human being they are uh, comfortable i would say ah uh, comfortable yeah yeah comfortable yeah uh, but human being suppose if i have food for uh, uh, today morning again what can i do in the uh, afternoon or tomorrow or years together also we are thinking mm -hmm. so uh, that makes us uh, working uh, always that is no no uh, that is not the wrong thing but for that uh, i am continuously unhappy that's <laughs> what uh, uh, that i observed madam yeah uh, uh, so Uh, yesterday we went to a hospital there i observed my experience madam one person just i was charging yes. there and i was uh, going through my important messages what i was missing from my hod and all for that uh, the person who is uh, like a security uh, a, a co employee there not a security it was it was it is a very good hospital so whom you hospital then uh, my wife is saying uh, he is looking at you uh, why you are uh, charging me so for uh, keeping charging itself is a bad thing or what uh, i was thinking i am not ha i was not happy why because uh, i was with preconditioning and uh, he was also in preconditioning always uh, uh, human beings so i, I observed uh, uh, the role of assumption you are telling na madam so mm -hmm. the role of assumption makes us uh, unhappy always because it is based on preconditioning then i uh, uh, questioned myself uh, because of uh, this uh, training so uh, am i be in line with uh, natural acceptance no <laughs> he is not ex uh, natural acceptance okay but i am not I, i am also not in natural acceptance that also i am also on happy then he natural acceptance we don't know he is looking at us but we have ah, we don't know we don't know as if uh, he is uh, is unhappy i thought Ah, that is also our assumption. Our assumption, and yes. uh, uh, and I was observing him. Uh, he was shouting uh, for small reasons uh, for all <laughs> other uh, other uh, uh, means or patients also who are sitting. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, so this is also my preconditioning. Mm -hmm. So then uh, when I try to uh, bring and uh, try to compare, uh, try to refer to my uh, natural acceptance whether it is in line with it or not. it is not in line with that that also i was uh, a little bit uh, uneasy when i referred to that then i again uh, uh, came to within uh, some seconds minutes again uh, i will be i was calm i was able to calm so if the role of, the role of assumption how it plays the whole life of human being is uh, 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 with that only madam what i observed true, if it is true. in line with if it is in line with natural acceptance everybody can be happy because it is not in line with happy uh, na our uh, uh, natural uh, being uh, that is uh, natural acceptance uh, people are uh, always unhappy that is the role of uh, uh, assumption what i observed uh, between animals and human being so uh, human being does not want to live but live with happiness in continuity because of that uh, even though he has food uh, good food uh, even then he tried for uh, he tries for uh, Uh, better food uh, even though he has some shelter uh, uh, even then he tries for some other even though he has that some other again he wants some other so he live with uh, happiness in continuity is okay but where it lies we don't know so that i observed what when we uh, so suggestion is when we for that what i have feel uh, what i have uh, uh, felt is when the means what that happiness is not the requirement of the body where we are trying to fulfill 
it is the requirement of the self mm -hmm. so what it requires it requires the harmony so how will we get so if we have right understanding if we have uh, 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 the right uh, feeling then only we have happy so how can we get we get with uh, our effort only so mm -hmm. when I, when our effort is uh, to be in line with uh, uh, natural acceptance and to be in harmony and when we understand properly then only we will be happy uh, so uh, when we tried in line with that then we are uh, becoming happy otherwise we are unhappy so uh, until uh, we get uh, it completely the understanding and the uh, what can i say that is called the realization then only i i, I thought uh, it is the completeness then only our conduct will be complete uh, the what i observed madam yes that is true but at the same time it should not become one more thing that we are running after and becoming unhappy about mm -hmm. you said, no yes you madam. you want food but we don't understand that food is for the body we try to get happiness from it mm -hmm. and when we get what we want also we are looking for something more we have forgotten that this is what we wanted mm -hmm. now we are looking for something else so again we are unhappy mm -hmm. like if you want good food you get good food you start eating you find it tasty also mm -hmm. but very soon you know stomach is full now you don't need more but you keep eating because the taste is nice Mm -hmm. But then you start saying, you know, it should have been hotter, then it would have tasted better. Or the salt should have been little more. Or this chutney should have been with it, then it would have been better. So again, you are already, you know, over that happiness. And now you are looking for something more to make you happy. So similarly, yes. if we keep thinking like this, that... When we get to right understanding, then we will be happy. Then it's something in the future that we can't do anything about right now. Because when mm -hmm. I get completeness of right understanding, that's a very big thing. Mm -hmm. So, okay, nothing to do now. Not mm -hmm. true. Right now, this second, this moment, mm -hmm. if I have the right feeling within me, I am calm, I am comfortable, I am in harmony, I am happy, like you mentioned. Huh? Mm -hmm. Madam. So, you can become happy instantaneously if you have the right feeling. Really? Once you appreciate that, once you notice that, that you know, now you are no longer uncomfortable. Now you see that it is up to you. It's not the guard outside that was creating your discomfort. It was you, your feeling. Definitely. I know. The assumption, like you said. So the moment you see that, and you have the right feeling, you find, you, like you said, you become calm. You're comfortable. Yeah. Now, so you can see that this is entirely up to you. It has nothing to do with the outside world. It is your choice that you are yeah. making. So, if we keep going that way, then, of course, there will be deep-rooted sanskars that we have to get over. But, if we become aware of our feeling and we keep checking whether it is in line with natural acceptance or not, bring it in line. We become happy for that moment. Na? So yes, slowly our moments of happiness will grow. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, we will have you know, completeness. When there is activity completeness, then of course we can have the right feeling in continuity. We can be happy in continuity. Yes, that will happen. But it should not become that, you know, it is something in the future that is to be taken care of. Right now, we can't do anything. That helplessness should not come in. Yes, madam. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste to all. Ma'am, uh, this is the assignment, observation. Uh, whenever, uh, when I see that... Uh, the fulfillment uh, uh, between that order. Uh, so, for example, if there is a one or two years, there is no rain is caused. So, we can see the drought area. So, there is no green. 
but once the train cars uh like in within a one month or two months we can see that the whole land is full filled with the green so that is how the expression we can see means uh drought is an expression of coexistence yeah yeah ma'am so we cannot see that the, the seeds are uh, roots or something else when in that drought time but when that water uh, water comes uh, it will uh, it start to grow so it is definite that is how uh, we can see that the coexistence in the units ma'am uh, and uh, uh, yeah ma'am yeah and uh, another observation uh, regarding that uh, the self ma'am uh, body is a temporary and uh, self is continuous and uh, when i observe uh means uh, i always thought that uh, see uh, self take a, a too many births like a uh, one after the other and uh, in each time uh, it start uh, uh, learn from the scratch level from a b c d so it learns and uh, that is how it's uh, going on and uh, why can't it uh, suppose in the earlier birth uh, i know something uh, that cannot be uh, there in the next uh, time uh, so that is how the thoughts were going on in the earlier now when i sit and observe suppose uh, this journey suppose this lifetime for me uh, myself i cannot handle that uh, like a the situation it is going on in the family and outside in the working place suppose if i know that earlier birth also who am i and how i was uh, so so much mess up will be there so i cannot handle the so why even go to the old birth if you look uh, at this date only you know uh, do you remember what clothes you were wearing you know 10 years back or what you ate for breakfast 10 years back do you remember no ma'am no ma'am uh, why don't you remember because it's not important for you so you forget about it so whatever yeah. is important you will remember isn't it yeah yeah something yeah. that is important your relationship with your mm -hmm. parent your child mm -hmm. that you will remember that you will not mm -hmm. forget mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. these things which are unimportant to you you tend to forget so same mm -hmm. thing happens when you go from lifetime to lifetime all these skills that you acquire they seem unimportant mm -hmm. you forget about them isn't it mm -hmm. but people who have lot of interest in something they may recall also some things isn't it so you have child prodigy mm -hmm. you see creative say musicians you look at mm -hmm. people like mozart and some people like that no? in their very early childhood mm -hmm. they are able to um you know show these skills of creating mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. there are small children who um are very good at reciting mantras and all yeah uh -huh. so some things you will notice mm -hmm. that it is there it's just that something that is very significant for us we might recall other things we tend to forget and it's good only like you said if you have to remember all your past lives my god it will become so complicated it is best mm. that this is the way it is because mm. ultimately mm. it is not significant what is significant is your higher activities and once you start awakening to the higher activities then there is recall then you don't have to keep slipping back to zero mm. then the development is linear it's not falling back yeah, yeah. one more thing ma'am i have i will have to be uh, when I... further also yes uh, ma'am uh, the whenever i think about and observe about that uh, regarding that uh, space 
uh, I I have a thought, ma'am. I don't know whether it is right or wrong. Uh, that uh, I always do focus on the activities. It's like one activity I am doing. I think about the other. So when I start this journey, I slow down my activity and start to observe myself, ma'am. And uh, so when I uh, refer my natural acceptance and with the right understanding, I started to do the activity. I, I keep you. I keep myself calm mm -hmm. and composed. And uh, I when I think about the space, it is like a nothingness. Uh, so uh, means uh, the activity when we are slow down. Uh, we can feel that uh, space, ma'am. That's how my thought is going on. Yeah, uh, these are just thoughts, I would say. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's focus on, you know, seeing, awakening mm -hmm. to the lower activity first, like the contemplation, mm -hmm. and the understanding, then go to realization. Because uh, mm -hmm. right now, you know, we'll keep having thoughts about space, but then with thought, you cannot really see mm. something directly which is more subtle than the thought no? mm -hmm. the very fact that we focus on it's true that we focus on the units the activity but then mm -hmm. that is not space mm -hmm. focus is largely on units even now if you see you mm -hmm. through the gross eyes you look at the trees you look at so many things but the gap between the trees we don't focus on we focus on the unit, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Space is far more subtle. It is there, uh, you know, mm -hmm. all around the unit, inside the unit, around everywhere. Mm -hmm. There is no place where space is not there. Inside you, mm -hmm. inside the self, mm -hmm. inside the body, everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So it's a good thing because being in space, we have all these capabilities. Otherwise, you know. We can't do all this. It mm. is available to us. Mm. And just we need to try to understand it. Slowly it will happen. As we develop our competence, we will eventually be able to see that also. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, here it is written, uh, activity completeness. Hmm. So once that, then it is also written development uh, is not cyclic. So once the activity is completed, then uh, right understanding, then what will happen to that self? Nothing will happen. Now the self has understanding, self is in happiness, in continuity. Self was in space, self is still in space. Self was associated with body, it is still associated with body. But it has a choice. So if it wants to associate with another body, it can do that. Activity is completed. But a lot of times you will have compassion for those who still are struggling. So you might choose to take another body and come back and help those who are struggling. Isn't it? Okay, okay, ma'am. Uh, another doubt is if we don't know any language, what will be the way in which we think? Do we use any language uh, that is spoken language for thinking? We need, do we need? Suppose we don't, I don't know think so. Because you see small children. They can mm. play together, they can communicate whatever they want without the use of language. Isn't it? Yeah. So they, how they will be getting of deciding that sequence of events? <laughs> Some things, you know, we are we already have that capacity within us. So we we have the ability to think. We have the ability to um, do the selection, the expectation, all that part. This is the way it is. This is how we are. Language is something that we have developed. Yes, ma'am. That is why. Yes, but. Language is something which is very limited. Thoughts can be more, more than language. Feeling can be way beyond language. 
and then so, of course if you get to innateness and all those characteristics that is way beyond language because you are not able to relate it in terms of words yeah i am i think it is uh, maybe based on pictures images yeah but See? something beyond images like the innateness like the self organization of every unit this is beyond images even no we may not be able to have a picture of it because you can't see it right now isn't it mm-hmm. yeah yeah ma'am thank you thank you so um we'll go forward now we can go to the next slide every unit like we said in all the four orders has five aspects the form the property the natural characteristic the innateness and the coexistence this form and property keeps changing so that leads to lot of variety lot of change no so it seems like there is so much of variety and they are all different things but if you look at the natural characteristic the innateness the coexistence there you see some definiteness there you see some continuity there you see universality that in all the orders there are these three characteristics which are very definite and when we look at the orders we find that this natural characteristic this innateness in any particular order is the same for all the units in that order and all of this again is an expression of coexistence which is the same for all the units next slide so here if you see we already went through this um, slide with the all the orders but just to quickly go over there is if you see in this um, you know there are these four rows which are showing the different orders physical bio animal and human order and if you look at the columns they're talking about the units the activity innateness natural characteristic and inheritance so in the physical order you have many units air water soil metal so many things activity you see formation deformation happening you know something is getting formed something is getting deformed if water is formed you know oxygen carbon dioxide are coming together water is formed if it's breaking up these are formed and so on something you know the change in form may be happening that is the activity that you see in nateness if you look at for a physical order it exists so even though the form changes it is still there in some other form not that it vanishes the existence is there natural characteristic has to do with participation so here you will see that whatever formation deformation was happening these all these molecules atoms they are coming together combining in a certain way then you know composing something or breaking down decomposing so here it is about all these units coming together and how they are participating together seeing the relationship then if you look at the inheritance it is constitution based so as long as you maintain the constitution this physical order this will continue to have the same kind of pattern generation after generation if you look at the bio order which has to do with the plants trees shrubs and so on here formation deformation is going on but there is another activity that you can see in this there is respiration so in the physical order there is no respiration but in the bio order you find respiration is also there and the innateness is that not only does it exist it grows also 
So you'll find that there is no such unit of the pi order which does not grow. Growth is always there. In the case of natural characteristic, of course, the composition and decomposition is happening at some level. But at the same time, you find that the participation is such that it either nurtures or it worsens. So, you know, the plant activity with another um, unit, you will find it either nurtures it or worsens it. If one um, is good for another unit, it might disintegrate by itself, you know, might itself worsen in order to nurture the other and so on. And you find in the inheritance part that it is seed based. So seed based means as long as you maintain the seed, this um, uh, inheritance can continue generation after generation. So if you have, you know, if you maintain the seed, do not tamper with the seed, then always you will have the same kind of fruit generation after generation. The same kind of tree will give rise to the same sort of leaves, same sort of fruit and so on. If you look at the animal order, now here you have two units involved. I mean, you know, within these, like if you say animals, birds, all these units, there again you have a body and now self is associating with the body. So where the body is concerned, it has similar characteristics to the bio order. So you have in the animal body, you have formation, deformation going on within. You also have respiration, same like um, plants. And similarly, you know, the self-organization is such that there is, um, it exists and there is growth in the body. Similarly, in the natural characteristic, the composition, decomposition is going on. Nurture and worsen also, same thing. So you have, you know, some, some, Some things they nurture the body, they themselves get decomposed or they worsen, but it is nurturing for the body. So like that. And here you find that this is in the animal, it is breed based. So depending on the breed, you have the characteristics in the animal. Now, if you look at the self in the animal, the self in the animal has the activity within the self of selecting tasting at the level of expectation. We can see selecting tasting going on. They are, you know, largely focused on that. The innateness of the self, it has a will to live. So any animal you see, you will find it has a will to live. And if you look at the natural characteristic, they have, by nature, some animals seem more calm, some are ferocious. So we call them, you know, cruel or non cruel. It's not actually cruel. That is a term that we are using, but you can see this difference. Now, if you look at the human being. In the human being, again, the body similar to the bio order. But if you look at the self, in the self, it's not just selecting, tasting. We are also awakened to imaging, analyzing, comparing, you know, the thought process, all that. And to know potential for understanding. This is the more developed self than the one of the animal. That potential to know is there in the human being, which was not there in the animal. And while the animal 
you know it is innate for the animal to want to live for the human being it is not enough just to want to live we want to live with happiness and we want to live with happiness in continuity and the potential for that is also there in us if we have the right feeling and right thought on the basis of right understanding we can live with happiness in continuity if you look at the natural characteristic the participation of course if we you know go by the b2 block our participation anyway we are participating but whether we are participating in line with the coexistence or not that depends on as we develop our understanding we can see that what is natural for us is to have these um characteristics of perseverance bravery generosity so that we have the feeling of love and we have compassion towards others kindness you no know? these um characteristics which um we consider as being in the pure part of us that's why you can see this in the violet block that we have seen so you'll find this um in the case of the human being the uh, this understanding and all this is not like in the animal you know whether the animal is what we call cruel non cruel that is dependent on the breed so if the breed is maintained the the animal is in that um you know category but in the case of human beings it's not just about the genetics or the breed what you say na no? it is not just that because you are born in a certain family you will be having understanding or you won't have understanding it has to do with education sanskar so no matter what condition or what family you are born in or whatever it is if the child is provided the right education and sanskar then the child can have anyway the potential is there for the understanding then the child can have this understanding and with that understanding have the right feeling be in happiness and continuity and continue to further propagate this to the next generation through again education and sanskar so it can be continued generation after generation so this whole chart which is showing all these four orders and how they are you know you can see in every order how it is characteristic the innateness the natural characteristic how um it is definite this is also an expression of coexistence all these units being submerged in space therefore this definiteness is available to them therefore they have this innateness this self organization therefore they have the participation the natural characteristic therefore they are in line with you know um, their participation is definite they recognize the relationship they fulfill the rec- the relationship so this all this is available to the units or the units you can say in these orders are already in line because of the coexistence being submerged in space only cases in the human being we don't follow this completely meaning we are um we lack the understanding but we have the choice so even though we have will to live with continuous happiness we sometimes make the wrong choices because we don't see it as possible within us because we lack understanding so we try to get it through the body because of that strong assumption like we said 
in the human being on the one hand you have that strong assumption you are body but on the other hand the self has become more important and that will to live with continuous happiness is dominating so you are trying to get it through the body so there all this confusion happens this indefiniteness in behavior but that can be changed through education and sanskar 